So and then again, are you happy now, Google? Are you all happy now, Google? You big bully, picking on me all the time, making me sign in again. Hi, folks. Fifteen hundred and eighty comments last night. Never had a troll. Um, that's crazy. Everybody had a good time, including me, including Pinhead. It was wonderful. Back to seriousness. So if you cry really easy, you probably don't want to be here right now. <laughs> this is bad. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it for anybody. And I've been hunting these headlines all day, and this is what I found today. Five billion becquels of beta radiation and 10 liters of decontaminated water, including strontium and cesium. That was January the 10th, 2012. Uh, that's leak, leaking from the tanks to the storage. Abandoned salty water after purifying systems of highly contaminated water doesn't work. Wait till you get those numbers I got coming up for you. Let me say it one more time. 5 million becquels of beta radiation and 10 liters decontaminated. Decontaminated. That's the stuff they decontaminated. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, 10 liters of water leak each uh, 500,000 becquels per centimeter, cubic centimeter. Like a sugar cube. <laughs> That'll mess you up. You're going to have a real bad day. If you make it. And uh, I seen Ben there. He left a comment that just flashed over and cut the comments. Hi, Miss Milky. Hi, Mama Knox. Uh, I'm going to have to come over and say hi to everybody now. In a second here. Uh, but I remember those two names there. And uh, the point I wanted to make about that was... Yeah. Kind of lost it. Doesn't matter. Next one's just as terrible. 10 trillion becquels per hour of radiation currently being released from the Fukushima plant. It's August 18, 2011. Let me say it again. 2011. 10 trillion becquels per hour of radiation. Per hour. Yeah, you probably don't want to hang out there very long. Or in that neighborhood or in that country. Fukushima contamination data, wrong. Maybe 1,000% of levels reported by government and TEPCO. 60 billion becquels of strontium and cesium claims to be flowing to the outer ocean each day. September 22nd, 2013. And I better come check the comment section just in case everybody's yelling at me. And that's been known to happen. <laughs> That's going to happen a lot. Hold it. Hi, Mickey. Hi, hi uh, Newman. Sequins. Yeah. No, it's okay, because I decided I'm late. And uh, hi from Hawaii, Kerry. And uh, Broken Ass Islander. XCLER805. Thank you. Stenson. Damn contaminated. Yeah. I say so, Stetson. Hi, Bats. Lost his wig. Yeah. Hi, Lunar. Mom and Ox. I'll say hi to everybody now. There's not that many comments that are showing up. My ninth wave. Uh, ben Wool, you were asking about the little fishes on the ocean. They were the microscopic animals. They weren't actually fish like Natural News had a picture of. They shouldn't have had the, the perch in that picture because this was microscopic animals and that really gave a lot of people the wrong impression. Just read the headlines and seen the picture and went on. That's worrisome. Um, hi, Alex. Miss Milky the Clown. Just watching Netflix tonight. Just like you, Miss Milky. I was trying to escape things. I wasn't really watching it because I was grabbing headlines. Uh, let me come down and make sure I catch as many as I can here. There's not many. Zigfried, Ricky, Sticky, MT Paul. A lot of your comments get marked as spam, and I can't unspam them. You can take Google and send your hate mail to Google on that one. Uh, there's quite a few people, you know, that are leaving comments, and I can't unspam them. I'm going to have to do a video about that because a lot of those comments are really good comments. It's not right. 
And uh, Miss Milky, uh, I said in her comment there, but Missing Sky 101 and Missing Sky 102, the links are below. I actually forgot the night to put the links below, so I ran and put the links below. And then I went and subscribed myself. And I recommend you guys subscribe. She's picking up uh, for Miss Milky. And Miss Milky has been at this quite a lot. Unbelievable amount of energy, time, effort, suffering. And I think I said hi to everybody. Let's get going again. Because this is a good one. This is important. Uh, the next headline we just left off at was a thousand percent levels reported. Fukushima. What the hell is the Fukushima? Fukushima contamination data is wrong. Maybe a thousand percent. Sixty billion becquels of strontium and cesium flown to the outer ocean each day. That's where we left off the last one before I said hi to everybody. All 10 children, excuse me, all 10 children tested in a large city 60 kilometers from Fukushima meltdown have radioactive urine. Radioactive urine. Now, I don't know about you, but, you know, um, if all 10 of the children, yeah, I know, Ben, thank you. I seen that. Yeah. No worries. Hi, uh, we could demand, we could, why are we cut to man? Oh, no, hi. A lot of your comments, Paul, get spammed, yeah. Let's steer away to the moon. Yeah, damn contamination. I gotta try to remember that when you write. Um... So that was that one with all the children. That was uh, June the thirtieth, two thousand eleven. June the thirtieth, two thousand and eleven. So that was uh, March, April, May, June, and all ten children tested. Every one of them. It's really bad if you got say two out of ten. That's terrible. That's incredible. That's inconceivable. Ten out of ten. So we need to liberate those people. That's why we have to do what we do each night. Uh, even if I'm tired, I still have to do it. That's just the way it is. 98.6% 90, of the time the air contaminated around Fukushima plant is not measured. Miss Milky probably knows all of this stuff. TEPCO says it lacks uh, qualified personnel to change the filters. I just think you... I mean, when you're hiring homeless, do you really expect them to be able to work on nuclear equipment? The mob's not going to go in there and do the job like they're supposed to. The contractors, I mean the mob. Anyway, keep going. 462 trillion becquels of strontium leaked into the ocean. Uh, December 19, 2011. A lot of time gone by since that one. 462 trillion becquels. That's every second. Every second. Strontium. Now, that's code word for uranium. And that's also code word for plutonium. That's code word for... Iodine-129 with a shelf life of 15 million years that they don't like to tell you about. But they'll tell you about the Iodine-131 with a shelf life of 7 days. And they won't tell you how that's multiplied by 10. All of these numbers by 10. So the Iodine-129, multiply the 15 million years by 10. See? I got to learn to do it myself. A uh, new leak at Fukushima plant. 230 tons of radioactive water found in tunnels is... 9.6 million becquels a liter. So they need to cement those tunnels up. But, uh, you know, the list goes on. And that one, the U.S. government was considering plans to evacuate all 90,000 citizens living in Tokyo. That was August the 18th, 2011. The U.S. government was considering plans to evacuate all 90,000 of their citizens. Come on, boy. Get on out of here. Don't tell the Japanese. We'll just... I don't even think they've done it, did they? But there's the plans anyway, and that's the headline from back in August the 18th, 2011. Hi, dog. And, um... Uh, bum, bum, bum. I always wonder how they uh, de damn contaminated nuclear wastewater. You can't. Hi, 99 slacker. Yeah, shelf life. That's more like it. Not a half life, but a shelf life. There you go. And uranium-230, or 282, got a shelf life of uh, 4.5 billion years times 10. That's messed up stuff, okay? 90,000 citizens. 
Uh, and and I got more stories about that. None of this is in order, unfortunately. Cesium-137 hotspot detected in Seoul cell Korea emitting a thousand times normal background radiation. And when talking about normal background radiation, uh, you can only take into consideration the numbers, but you can't, like, they're going to use bananas or water, and that stuff um, can't hurt anything, right? And they shouldn't be using it, because that's not, you know, when they calibrate it that way, that's the fable. That's the lie. And anybody, everybody that does that is lying to you whether they realize it or not. They're not necessarily lying on purpose, but they're, it's a lie. You know, I try to enforce that background radiation of rocks and walking in the sunshine and bananas. Um, if you took a Dixie cup or a small bowl of the stuff we're talking about and a bowl of rocks or bananas or that, and they're just sitting there, they couldn't hurt you. But that stuff will kill you before it can finish the sentence. And the isotope is completely different. And so that's a really uh, an atrocious lie. And the media is better off just telling us uh, these headlines. And then things will happen. That's the way things always have always happen. That's why the media actually is supposed to exist to do that instead of just this uh, fluff and selling for corporations. And that's got them into a lot of trouble now. Because this news is coming out. Uh, this is really important stuff. 1,200 kilometers from Fukushima. But a thousand times danger. A thousand times danger levels. Whatever the danger levels were actually on a nuclear plant. Not background radiation like bananas like they're employing, But whatever the, the average radiation danger is for a nuclear plant. It was a thousand times that. Uh, Japan Times discharge of Fukushima nuclear material into the Pacific have effectively contaminated the sea. That was made at 20 of 2013. The melted reactor cores will burn again if water is not perpetually poured in. TEPCO proposed some of it being dumped into the ocean. You can't blame them because if those tanks go dry accidentally, all that heavy material, the heavy metals, is in the bottom of those tanks might go into chain reaction. And so they need to control it, and they need to make room for... Uh, I mean, the ocean is finished. It's unbelievable that I'm saying something like that. But they got to get it off the site so they can stay on the site, because if you have an accident, all that pours out all over the site, they're not going to be able to get back on the site. Think about those numbers I told you at the beginning, per liter, per cubic centimeter. Frightening, see? And so if those tanks rupture... And I got headlines about that coming up here anyway. Let me keep going. Fox News back in March the 18th, 2011. That was seven days. All of the stricken reactors and spent fuel pools contain plutonium. All of them. That was six days, seven days, March the 18th, seven days after the tsunami. So six days after the first reactor that we knew about had a detonation. And all of the stricken reactors, all of them, spent fuel pools contain all of them. That's, that's Unit 5, Unit 6, and Unit 4, too. So there you go. See, the truth always comes out early, but then it gets buried, and then it gets changed, and, right? Like the Wikipedia page of the Philippines trying to claim 155 mile an hour winds when it's all the media reported it. They got all the... Uh, you know, it was reported right across the board at 195 mile an hour sustained. And so they changed that because they don't want to link up the radiation in the ocean to what happened to the Philippines where that's 7,000 islands. And the ninth wave, uh, catch a couple of comments while I'm here. The ninth wave, there's 13 million people in Tokyo. Where are you going to put them? Well, they evacuated 7,500 villages in Russia, right? Back in the late 40s. 7,500. They uh, close 9,000 square miles. You do what you got to do. You can't murder 13,000 people because you're too lazy to do your jobs, right? That don't give you the, that don't give the system not you, but the system down there the rights to murder 13 million people with horrific deaths of cancers. Their job is to do their job. Their job is not to make that decision. That is never one of their decisions that they're allowed to make. To say. The hell with them. We're not going to tell them. Don't know what to do with them. Get out of the way. Somebody else will work it out. 
It's the problem is the inbreeding in the government. They think they're they're the only ones that can figure it out, and they got all the bootlickers for consultants. They they don't know how to scratch their head. Their hand is up their ass all the time. You get them out of the way, just like they've done in Russia. Seventy five hundred villages. Seventy five hundred. They done the right thing. Chernobyl they evacuated thirty eight hundred square miles, but uh, in Russia. There was 9,000 square miles, and then they had another problem, and they evacuated another 1,000 square miles 15 years later. Once again, they'd done their job again. They didn't do their job originally because they created a huge mess, but when they found out how bad it was and how deadly it was and what the consequences of it was, they evacuated 7,500 communities. That's the precedence. But, I mean, that's what we were taught all along. Now they're trying to unteach that and say, oh, it's okay because we don't know what to do with you. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. We're society. We're not your personal uh, toys that you can destroy and throw away. Because we'll hang you from telephone poles when we find out about it because you hit it away. And we will find people will find out about it. And they're going to hang them from poles, hopefully, in a just world. I got no problem with that. I think that's the moral and ethical thing to do. Instead of murdering 13,000, 13 million people in Tokyo... They're supposed to move them out. And if you gave people a chance, you can move every house in the city out of it. You put your mind to it, put a man on the moon, you can go to war endlessly, sit back and watch the world die in, in the name of profit. It's not the government's job to hold them hostage and not tell them anything and lie to them, manipulate them, because they want to keep their pensions and they want to keep their jobs and they want to keep their positions in, in the communities. What, he murdered 13 million people for sure? Because Tokyo is contaminated, 300,000 uh, becquels per cubic meter, per square meter. All over Tokyo, though, I got those numbers here for you. Let me go dig them up, right? I'm not yelling at you. I'm just yelling at the government, because that's a good comment. You know, hi, Mom and I put them on boats and um, split them up around the islands. Well, you know... You have to work out with other countries if you have to work out with other countries. If your country is contaminated, you have to go somewhere. And we have to stop this divide that we got as a society. And because we're, we're faced with the biggest challenge that there is no challenge like this ever. There is no challenge like this, see? This, there's nothing, this is a meteorite slamming into us. And we got to learn really fast that a handful of people shouldn't control the destiny of 13 million. And uh, if they f those 13 million find out what really is going on, those people are in a lot of trouble. Because at some point, uh, when people got nothing le left to lose, they lose it. And that's common. Because the media can't tell you the truth very often. But back when the media was f going full tilt on the tsunamis, Fox came out and said all the stricken reactors and spent fuel pools contained plutonium. But there was 14 million other headlines that day because of all the carnage with the tsunami and the nuclear meltdown. And they don't repeat those headlines and bring them into context anymore, right? Um, Fukushima 50 special, Unifor pool, four pool, this was March the 5th, 2013, had boiled dry. Unit 4 pool had boiled dry, raising the specter of a nuclear fission chain reaction. Feared nearby nuclear plant would be evacuated. And it was the independent. And one of the Fukushima 50, one of the men who risked their lives. And there's a link below to 2,136 uh, pictures, I think, um, where you can download them. They're high, a lot of these are high quality. Some of the bad quality ones... It's because of radiation and because of water and the cameras are in plastic bags. But at least you get an insight. They're valuable pictures. And I'm, I'm almost through all of them now. And I've been studying them, trying to understand it. And they're labeled. Uh, and they're, it's a good download, easy download. It's a bit slow, but it will download. You won't have no problems. There's a hundred different packets, uh, folders to download. And each folder could have 10, 20, 30, 40 pictures into it about the title of the download. So you can pick and choose what you want to download. Hi, Lunar. Hi, 66, fun boy. Yeah, and the leaders will die with civilians. Yeah, yeah, really good point. Hi, Miss Milky.
<laughs> Miss Milky, yeah. Okay, Zoe. It's okay, Zoe. Slow it down. Hang on, hang on. She's ready to go off. Government projection assumes one back roll per hour was leaking from Fukushima. The actual rate reached at least 10 quadrillion with an R. Rillion. That's a party name, eh? Quadrillion. And that's a million, or that's a thousand million million. Uh, so, you know, their estimate was one back roll. And it turns out to be 10 quadrillion. 10 quad million boom, times higher. That's frightening. Uh, let me see if there's... I'll keep me on the comment while I'm going through. Hi, Albert. Hi, broken ass honor. Okay, Fukushima 50. I'll go back to that one for a second. That was March the 5th, 2013. Had boiled dry. And we got pictures down below, folks, anyway. But that was one of the Fukushima 50, the first ones in there, right? And let me keep going. The government tab call, uh, this was April, August the 17th, 2011, the year of the crime. Government tab call claimed radiation releases down to 200 million back rolls per hour, 80% lower than July. See, the numbers are just all over. Lying buggers, boy. Then admits it's just an uh, estimate because the exact emission levels cannot be accurately measured. They can't measure the buckyballs, right? But they knew about that back then. I got some really good headlines coming up here. I'll keep going. Uh, I got so much. Uh, Japan emits daily radioactive releases from Fukushima at 154 trillion becquels. Strontium, uranium, plutonium, and the different family trees. Uh, not that we're worried about the uranium family tree so much because it takes 4.5 million years, billion years to start breaking down. And it gets inside of these bulky balls. There's a link below to the peer review studies of that. There's a link below to a bunch of really good people who come at this from a different perspective. Excuse me. 154 daily release. This was April 23rd, 2011. This was uh, April 23rd, five weeks later. Japan emits daily radioactive release from Fukushima at 154 trillion backwalls. And so, you know, and then you get all these contradictions in these headlines. I keep going here. Sorry. I know we hit, keep hitting the microphone because the way I got to hold this on my lap is stupid. I'm going to get another table, go shopping tomorrow and get a table, put this thing on so I can actually do this right. Experts, uh, doctor, December the 5th, 2013, completely beyond comprehension how huge the contamination of ocean water will be. Fukushima radioactive material poured in landfills to enter sea, right? And we've seen, uh, I think we talked about that before, but I wanted to put that into context with everything that we got going on here tonight. Uh, hi, Michael. Okay. <coughs> Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. It's okay, honey. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sweetie. You can get them raccoons after. Could be a cougar out there. He wants to try to suck you into going out there so they can eat you. You tell him. She's talking all those people down at Tepco. That's right. You heard me. You don't want to get Zoe mad at you. I can tell you right now. Hi, Albert. Um, Can't copy. Google Minus won't let me just be all, but you can all call me. Hi. Ali Smith. Stinson. They've dumped water in reactors. Okay, let me keep going, folks. It's okay, Zoe. Settle down, honey. I'm going to trade you in for a rabbit. December the 5th. So that's when they ended off on. Completely beyond comprehension how huge the contamination. And I brought up that picture for everybody. Twice as much contaminated water entering the ocean from Fukushima's official claims. This is the New York Times, August 8, 2013. Uh, August the 7th, rather. And they republished the one I got here. So, Japan's government, 600 tons of groundwater entering the ocean each day at the plant. 
New York Times. TEPCO figures assumes all water entering ocean from the plant is contaminated. And so a thousand tons of groundwater flow from the mountains is what they're saying. Well, what about when it rains or it snows or it... You don't really know, like you always admit. And it's just all these um, combinations. So 600 tons a day, see, that's a scary number going into that ocean. The model you're looking at is based upon a two-week CCM release spread out over six years. And they don't put in, because cesium is code word for uranium and plutonium. And, you know, the, the long-range the strontium-241, uh, the iodine-129, the amarinium, the, you know, like off uh, San Francisco, it was 40 million becquels on the kelp. 40 million becquels. Now, that was probably from the 47,500 drums they dumped off San Francisco, 35 kilometers off at that big reserve where all the seals are dying. It's got nothing to do with the 47,500 barrels they dumped her a few decades ago, of course. No, it's a chicken pox. Is that what the marine biologist remember that? <laughs> Should have made a video and called him out for that one. I had my time back. He'd be getting it right now, boat knuckles. Yeah, I'm in BC, British Columbia. <coughs> Spitting up buckyballs. <laughs> now, let me keep going. Bum, 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 bum. March 31st, 2012. Local official. Japan's government did not reveal plutonium-241 detection. Radiation dose was 50 times higher than the total of the other three plutonium isotopes that were mentioned. Naughty people, boy. You can't take them anywhere. They're just going to, eh? You just can't trust them. Little short buggers, boy. Should have kept them in chains. That's what we're going to do with them later. We're going to make chain gangs out of them. Japan's government prepares plan to flee Tokyo. ABC News, Australia. Japan government, August the 10th, 2011. Hoo-hoo-hoo. Dirty buggers. They weren't going to tell Japan. They weren't going to tell Tokyo, right? But they were going to get out themselves. You know, there's enough resources for all of us to get out and take our families and have casinos and bars and little gyms and everything out there. We'll need 50,000 employees to do our bidding while we're there. That's what they were doing, eh? Did, I got another headline coming up about that, so hang on. Japan Times cesium level spiking. This was uh, October 9, 2011. Tokyo, 300,000 becquels per square meter. You're not receiving my data. I gotta hang on, folks. My little computer's gone crazy. It's not feeling good. I'll hang on, make sure I'm online again. Got a little angry there and went red. Did I get kicked offline that time? I'll come back on if I did. Hi, Solar. I'm still kicked offline here. Hang on. I'll refresh the page, see what's going on. Stupid. It's going to make me sign in again. Frig. It says I'm live, but I still got that red chummy there. Somebody want to confirm I'm actually got data coming out? That's a pain in the ass. Hi, you're a prop. I'm going to assume everybody's hearing me. I'll come check my other computer here. But I got a big, pretty red, red banner on that one, too. Still clicking away, though. Did it kick me offline or what? Your dog won't chase your buckyballs anymore? That's too funny. Am I still online, folks? Yeah? Somebody's going to have to confirm, because... It doesn't... I'm still getting red feeds... I'm still getting a red feed. Nobody? Anybody? There we go. Okay, I got my feed back. You might have missed Milky. I haven't been able to get into my emails or my messaging because I'm signing to Google Plus. I guess I'll sign out of Google Plus and go check my messages maybe. 
if it's recent. I don't know. This is such a struggle. And so I guess I was streaming okay. But I got a big red banner on both computers and said it wasn't receiving my data. If anybody was wondering what that was all about. What you have on a bucky ball in one hand and one in the other, one big mother bucky. There you go, Alex. Uh, but I can search that. Can evacuation of Tokyo 2011? Yeah, no, I can search for that one. If you forget. Solar Max says, why can't we just drop a H-bomb on the place and burn the elements? Do you really think it's that easy? And do you realize that the site is full? You release so much radioactive atoms into the environment and just the one go, you can never control it. The whole point is that site is a nuclear waste site and every year the, each reactor produces around 30 tons of rods that are now millions of times more deadly and that a gram of the cesium when it's aerosoled is more radioactive atoms than all the grains of sands and all the beaches on the planet. Uh, and so blowing it up is not an option. They would have done that. Originally, before everything went and melted down, they might have got away from it. Uh, but not even then, because you got all these fuel pools, and then you got all the uranium-238 on the site, and that's contaminated with americium, plutonium, strontium. Uh, audio visuals, good. Thank you, Michael. There should be an industrial-sized water purifier at the port. Well, once again, you know, we've done that uh, purifier here just now about that doesn't actually work. Yeah, okay, everybody, I got it. Looks good. Learning to juggle buckyballs. And the cancer, yeah, I wonder how you would do that. That'd be an interesting one. Let me come back and keep going. Um, hang on. Come back and say hi one more time, make sure I never missed anybody at a time. Solar Max is at that. Oh. But can has it the able that would be a horrible and you won't be able to get on the site and deal with it. The cores are so far far down um, you would spread the contamination uh, yeah if they were to blow that I, I don't know you know what do I know if, if if that would work go ahead knock your socks off but the way I see it anyway is that there's so much contamination over the entire site uh, I don't know if they could do it. Can you actually neutralize that, uh, the atoms, the radioactive uh, molecules, the nucleus, the neutrons? And they're spread over a couple of miles of because uh, of the hydrogen explosion, tossed rods, and atomized and broke them into particles that were found up two miles away. And so if you turn that, all that two miles, if you turn the area in front of it into a glass, once again, you stand a chance of you got six reactors there. And remember, folks, if you go look at the pictures in the link below and download the pictures of buildings five and six and look at the interior, right, everything is rusted. Everything is full of salt water. There's nothing, you can't get nothing to work there. And everything is radiated. And so whatever you're seeing for pictures is bull, bullshitting. Hi, Castle Mom, seven. Thank you. Glad to see you. Yeah, sometimes I say things, you know, I got to watch what I'm doing. That's the one thing I don't want to do, is offend people. And just to, just to PR firms, and uh, I've, after eight years of PR firms, sometimes I'm a little jumpy, and i got to watch out. They're Fukushima in you, an active. Okay, Mickey, Stenson, Mama Knox, North Korea, Fat Boy is a nuke case. We're all juggling buckyballs already. We don't need more nuclear crap. That's on top of that, yeah. Lunar legions hit with satellite, de uh, directed energy weapons, zapped the cores that existed, like September 11th. But we don't know, see, when you look at what salt water does to uh, nuclear, when it's fission, when there's a chain reaction going on, see, we, we don't have the precedence in unleashing something like that could be even worse than the buckyballs. And... Uh, you know, like I, I originally would just hammer it down into the Earth's core, but we don't even know what that would happen. Hi, Ellen. Good. I know I couldn't see anything. I wasn't getting no comments there, so. Uh, Ricky Sticky. Scott. Hi, Scott. Lumi Island. <coughs> Zoe, it's okay, honey. Yeah, must be getting windy out there. Zoe, it's okay. 
Stop it. Um, yes, Scott, and sometimes you got to put up with the dog. Not very often, though, she'll do stuff like that. But uh, it's a little cold out there tonight, so maybe the building is starting to creak a little bit. Okay, I'll get back on track, folks. I said hi to Ellen. I'll just come down a little lower, see if there's an Albert Kokoski. Uh, did you ever get the robots to work in there without being rescued by people? No. Albert, uh, this is probably just a very lucrative recovery effort for some corporations. Yeah, but I mean, that that novelty's worn off. Right? Hi, Bazmat. Five years till the radiation hits us all. No, well, see, that model's not accurate. That model's not accurate uh, that you're looking at because it doesn't take into account. It just takes dispersion without the rain picking it up, moving it, advancing it uh, further ahead, without the jet streams dropping it, uh, you know, advanced. Uh, that's just a plume of 137 they were talking about. But that would have included also the uraniums, plutoniums, and all their byproducts of uranium, plutonium. Um, and let me come back to what we were working on. Yeah, I'm going to uh, start interviewing guests. Absolutely, that's the plan. Um, but I can't seem to find, figure out how to import them in. I've been kind of uh, procrastinating on that one. I know, I got my fingers on it. 300,000 uh, Beckwolds per square meter. Cesium levels, uh, this was uh, October 9, 2001. Cesium levels spiking with unusual high amounts of fallout in Okutama, Tokyo. It's up to 300,000 Beckwolds per square meter. It's home to the world's largest drinking water reservoir of its kind built to supply Tokyo. And so if there's 300 Beckwolds per square meter there, then it's 300,000 square Beckwolds all the way, you know, all 400 kilometers, 250 miles to Fukushima's prefecture, right? And so then rain and snow and typhoons would have filled that reservoir up because it's hot particles all over that area, really hot particles. It was a weaponized military industrial complex and nuclear power was a byproduct of the weaponized isotopes that they were messing with that they never had no rights to mess with because there's no reason to make isotopes like that, right? There's no reason for that. We don't need that. There's no reason. See, they've been making nuclear power for 50 years without those isotopes. These weaponized isotopes that they're using and trying to create are mathematical equations they're trying to solve. That's what these MOX fuel facilities are all about. I've seen the PR firms out saying that they make, they make uh, yeah, um, the MOX fuel to, used to make power and they use uh, old weapons, the plutonium and the uranium from old weapons to make power, which is an outrageous law, you see? That's an outrageous law. Uh, let me keep going anyway. Japan unveils plan to develop massive government backup city 300 miles west of Tokyo. Massive government backup city for them. But they're not going to tell the 13 million people in Tokyo to get out of the way, but they're going to get themselves out of the way. Right? These are the, the monsters. These are the monsters in uh, the governments. They're all governments like that. Well, that's really hideous. You're going to murder 13 million people so you can have all the resources for yourselves for your cities and move your families out there and not tell other people, not warn other people, not give other people the opportunity. Just let them sit there and pay their taxes so you can have your little city far away. That's what the, that was November the 3rd, 2011. That's how hideous that government is. You can't trust Japan, see? They're willing to do that. They're willing to murder you and your loved ones. So you can't trust them. Don't buy nothing off and boycott everything about them. Speak out against these monsters that want to murder 13 million people in Tokyo, these are, are hideous monsters, inbreeds. I mean, they're dysfunctional. You wouldn't want them as your neighbors. They're disgusting people. They were bred into their jobs. All government employees in that country are uh, useless, crippled dummies, like brain crippled. Yeah, I know went off that time. What about using burden machine? 
Like if somebody was able to prove that they can deal with it, they can make a fortune. I don't know. I don't know that machine in particular, but um, maybe I do. But juggling buckyballs. Yeah, can you imagine juggling buckyballs? There's, there is a, like you can, you can absorb different types of radiation. This is true. And there's quite a few uh, natural minerals that'll do that too. But it does so much damage. Um, and a lot of this stuff, it, it, we don't have any long-term studies on what the effects are. Not that it matters. It can't be as bad as the radiation because the radiation is going to do you in anyway. But um, a lot of the minerals, of course, they're perfectly safe, right? So there's lots of safe stuff out there, but there's some stuff out there that should be studied. But who really got a lot of time to study your stuff? But, it's, but it still has other applications, you know, even if you can't consume it is what I'm trying to say. If that makes sense for anybody. But the Japanese unveiled plan to develop a, mass, a massive government backup city 300 miles west of Tokyo, and there was room for 200,000 staff. 200,000 staff may be built at Akami, Akami Airport, I-T-A-M-I Airport. November 3rd, 2011, they're already getting ready to abandon ship. Leave the 13 million people behind to pay the taxes and pay their bills where they live like kings. See? That's monsters. The government must live on. And all of our families and all of our 200,000 servants. I mean, that's some sick, demented people. Could be home to 50,000 residents. Offices and resorts and casinos and parks. I mean, that's disgusting. Just in case an earthquake cripples Tokyo. Yeah, they weren't worried about an earthquake. They were worried about... Fukushima and all the radiation everywhere they looked around, they wanted to get out of Dodge. But you didn't want to tell the people in Tokyo because no one can pay the bill then. Because then you wouldn't have your pensions. You wouldn't have all that money. You wouldn't be able to steal all those natural resources. You wouldn't be able to say, how look how powerful I am. I'm 300 miles away in a, in a sanctuary. And these dummies down there have no idea. They're paying my way. going to pay my pension. What a sweet deal. That's murder. Whoever had drew up those plans, every one of them should be put on trial. But they're inbreeds. They're the inbreeds' childrens, right? Japan's elite is still running the, that kind of the show down there, kind of. They do what the Americans tell them because they're the American slave. Now they're going to destroy the entire planet because they're monsters. That's monster. 300 miles west of Tokyo, yeah. Right? 300 miles west of Tokyo, so that's 550 miles away from Fukushima. Japan's government prepares plans to flee Tokyo, ABC News. Anyway, let me keep going. Yeah, sick, demented. But the Americans evacuated out 150 miles from Tokyo West too, right? Right away. Um, Kyoto renewed nuclear chain reaction feared at reactor number four, March the 18th. Seven days later, 2011, renewed nuclear chain reaction feared at Reactor 4. Seven days after. So you hear all that hype and chatter about Unit 4. But, you know, you've seen the pictures. You can download the pictures yourself down below the video. I've done a video about it, but go download the pictures yourself and go look at it yourself and take your time. Don't worry if some of the pictures are a little bit blurry because there was a lot of radiation. And those pictures were all taken. There's 2,000 plus of them down. They were all taken by the Fukushima 50. And local officials measure alpha radiation on bridge railing. 1,000 times more dangerous than beta or gamma, the alpha radiations. This was uh, April the 5th, 2012. Alpha Rays and Planned Evacuation Zone was the title of it. Crazy, eh? A thousand times more dangerous than Beta or Gamma. Uh, on the rail. You know what a rail is? That's where you put your hand. That's where you lean on to get your picture taken in a lethal dose. Crazy. Oh, I kind of missed out on the comments. Hi, sweet Jane. Dana put up a video on the Elite's underground bunkers location. Yeah. Depth. <laughs> yeah, we got like shovels. What kind of shovel do you use to dig out the uh, leads out of their bunkers in the future? I prefer the one with the handle and the foot. Well, first you want to drill down a hole, 
and you want to lower down speakers on wires and say, we're coming for you, tum, tum, tum. And then you get the guy in the back hall to go, tum, 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 on the earth, and then you go, we're coming for you, and the speakers again. And, yeah, a mind-boggling 40,000 trillion becquels of radioactive cesium Far more cesium released from Fukushima than previously thought. So that means far more plutonium, far more uranium. Because every time it says cesium, that's code word for uranium, okay? Because media's not allowed to talk about uranium. They aren't allowed to talk about cesium-137. Cesium. Ugh, cesium. And iodine-131 with only a seven-day half-life, say. But multiply everything by ten anyway. Right? That's the rule of thumb in their little tiny world. That's the, that's the insider's joke. They tell you it's got a half-life, so you can just... Ah, it's gone seven days. I've seen the pundits on TV do it all the time. But you're supposed to multiply it by ten. Because half of it turns into another radioactive isotope, the other half still stays iodine. And then half of that, uh, three and a half days later, still exists, but half of that turned into the other isotope, the 132, and then the other one that was 132 originally is broke down into another radioisotope because it has another half-life and then that keeps going for about 80 days so your seven-day half-life got 80 days your 4.5 billion year half-life of uranium which most of this was because reactors are made of uranium and plutonium they're not made of cesium they're not made of strontium they're not made of iodine or americium okay they're made of plutonium and uranium and plutonium uh the average one's got a half-life of uh, 24,000 years, but most of it's uranium, which is 4.5 billion years. And it's not like the uranium that's in the ground or in the banana or background radiation on Earth, because that's got nothing to do with nuclear. That can't kill you, that can't hurt you. And the people that tell you that are lying to you, and they're stupid morons or murderers, most likely murderers. If they got an education, they're actually murderers. And that was February 29, 2012, 40,000 trillion Beckwells of everything. Of this, 40,000 trillion of that, 40,000 trillion of this. And that was probably for just a month or who knows what. I mean, it's just so many lies, isn't it? We're stuck in the middle of Cabell's. If only it was a hype, Miss Milky. Um, and there's 30 million tons, by the way, down there of rubbish. That's highly radioactive, gammas, betas, alphas, high particles, high counts, 40, 50 million Beckwells, disintegrations per second, every second, for billions of years, and garbage bags that are stacked all along the coastline and all along the highways. It's just insane, insidious, and uh, this stuff is smothering because the uh, small chain reactions going on with other minerals alongside of the, you know, particles, big particles. And uh, they're active particles. They're, they're putting out x-ray and uh, neutrons. And so they're, they're splitting the atoms with the isotopes. They're creating their own isotopes. That's the whole thing about these particulates and these particles. They create their own isotopes. Some of them short life, and I mean, there's around 5,000 of them recognized out there, but a lot of these are short life. But a short life, like seven days, lasts for 80 days. And if you get it in your body, because you're walking down the road and it's windy or raining or typhoons or dust. Uh, and you look at California with 1,501 buckyballs per cubic meter of air. So think of your kitchen table. And so if you can, you know, if you, you have to be walking through areas the size of your kitchen table with each step, and you would have to hope all the buckyballs are on the other side of the table. Right? And every time as you walk, all the buckyballs get out of your way. 1,501. That's hot part. That's hot particles. That's hot. You get that in you. And it's not like the particles are coming straight out like that. They're coming out from every direction. 360. Um, the data's been cooked, right? It's polluting North Asia. The oceans have no boundary. There's much more. You know, this is Bloomberg on August 14, 2013. Much more than 300 tons of contaminated water a day entered in the Pacific from Fukushima. The data has been cooked all along. It's polluting North Asia. It's mind-boggling. Absolutely mind-boggling. The photos of... Hang on. That's not the one. 
It's the team's new uh, triple meltdown by March to 18. March to 18, they kept the secret until TEPCO's admission. Says melted fuel only largely submerged in water. That was March the 4th, 2012, a year later almost. Uh, so seven days later, they knew it was melted down. And they were making plans. The government in Japan was making plans to get the hell out of Dodge, go 300 miles west. Right? Not tell Tokyo. Keep them there. Keep them there. Let them die of cancer. Don't, don't bother telling them. In fact, do the opposite. Lie. Manipulate. Deceive. I hope they string them all up down there. That's the only option they got left anyway. That's the right thing to do. String them all up. That'd be a good thing. They deserve it. They murdered all these people. Just because you don't die tomorrow don't mean you weren't murdered. Okay? That's established many times over. Hi, Castle Mom. Bees and butterflies are mutated. Right, Solar Max. Um, Kevin uh, Blanche. Star, uh, Starfire Goal. Yeah. Hi, Mickey. Paul. Please pass the buckyballs from your side of the table. Uh, you got bumped off, Castle Mom? Yeah, hi, Miss Milky. I gotta catch that comment after. I'm probably gonna miss it right now. I'm just saying hi. <laughs> I put a banana behind me and saw my skeleton on the model on a monitor. That's frightening. We should we we gotta create an organization to um, get bananas off Earth. Let's send them to another planet or something. I think that'd be the right thing to do about it. Kept secret until uh, mission. You know that's. They kept it a secret. They knew they didn't warn anybody. Those jet streams, the death plumes, were coming across the ocean three days later. Look up uh, fire balloons. And Japan, in 1944, put balloons up into the jet streams. And there's a list of where all those balloons were found. Canada, Mexico, Texas, everywhere. It's unbelievable. It only takes three days to cross the ocean. Uh... And it's dispersing the buckyballs all along the way. The buckyballs were made. There's a link below if you don't understand what that means. Um, the NRC team's initial impressions were that the spent fuel pool number three might not be there after seeing photos. That was February 29, 2012. Headline, I just wanted to mention it. Um, this was on um, uh, the FOIA release. There's links below to the official government's release of transcriptions for conversations and messages so you can go down below and you can go through all that yourself uh, no spent fuel pool seen in reactor number three during a flyover anyway that was um xeon was detection in south korea maybe from fukushima's reactor but they're going to blame it on north korea right see how that game works pretty slick how they do it most of the fallout from plutonium containing MOX fuel, two million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. Sure, um, like everybody thinks about Chernobyl being one of the worst accidents. Think about the one in Russia in the late 40s that they had to evacuate 7,500 people and uh, 9,000 square miles is still off limit all these years later. That was in the late 40s, early 50s. Uh, by 60, they had another accident and they had to evacuate another 1,000 square kilometers Square miles. Hey, Dominate. Yeah, send uh, real waste to Mars. I get it. They have to stop the groundwater runoff. You have to, have to divert. Well, it's, you need the water going in or now to keep things cool or you can't get back on the site. And so we're sacrificing the ocean and North America so they can get back on the site. That should tell you how dangerous this is and how serious this is and how real this actually is, right? Because that's what's going on. Because without the water, they can't get back on the site. The media's not going to tell you. That's why I'm reading all these headlines tonight from earlier and the conglomerate of it because all your clues are there. You can do your own math pretty quick uh, with any of this stuff. But it's crazy, see, that you can't deal. you got to keep the water on it perpetually till the end of time or run it's that dangerous uh, it's, re it's the real deal that's why they had them in the containment units that's why they had them 
on these big strong structures they just they should never have built it. it just it, there was no way to contain it ultimately right but that's they went they done the best they could but it was nowhere near close enough they knew that dude knew all nuclear engineers and all universities know that right so they're all monsters they're all traitors they're all cowards they're all murderers they're the ones that mentions the bananas all the time now i'm terrorized bananas a nuclear physicist back on May 9, 2011, said number three, mock spent fuel rods have spread out in surrounding areas contaminated with plutonium. You can never return to this place again. That was May 9, 2011. Uh, from a Russian nuclear physicist who says because, you know, those places blew up, four out of reactors uh, detonated. Well, all the fuel pools had uh, uh, 1,535 bundles, and each bundle had 80 rods. Most of that was atomized and also blown all over for two miles. But there was, um, you know, the hot particles, a lot of people can't understand that they, they traveled 1,200 miles away right away in Japan. So you can never return to this place again. He knew, because the MOX fuel is two million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. I kind of digressed, I know, a little earlier there. Radiation number one reactor building far exceeds expected levels, 700 millisieves per hour, 500 million becquels released when they opened the entrance. That was made in 9, 2011. So they took a homeless person, sent them in there, and killed them, right, basically, is what they're telling you. Radioactive waste was dumped in trenches along six acres, by the way. Here's another story. Above the town of Los Alamos. This was July the 1st, 2011. So there was all that stuff going on about Fukushima. And here they are, the Americans, dumping it in trenches, six, six acres of trenches. And then they had a forest fire swept through there, right? Uh, I know I digress, but I want to throw that one in there. Because that was back in 2011 in July, and so that was five months later or whatever. And here they are, they're, they're dumping radiation out in the opening again because they know there's so much radiation coming through that the detectors are being turned off, no one can pick it up. They knew all that, that's why they were doing that. 75% of Fukushima's 300,000 children going to school so contaminated, they would be radiation control areas if they were in a nuclear plant. Remember that headline earlier about the kid... Uh, 10 out of 10 children peed radiation pee. 10 out of 10, not 2 out of 10, not 3 out of 10, but 10 out of 10 children tested. That was shortly after. In Japan, peed out radiation pee. That's horrible. That's unacceptable. And at the same time, Japan was planning on building 300 miles west of Tokyo, a safe city for them and their families with casinos and parks and everything else. They deserve a slap in the mouth, at least that. They deserve to go to jail for trying to do that. They're supposed to be the last ones off the ship. Not the first ones, not the rats running with all the resources and all the money and the authority and then trying to control, leave everybody there to die. That's what they're doing. Disgusting, it's revolting. That's why I'm sitting here tonight, because that drove me over the deep edge when I read that earlier. 75% of Fukushima's 300,000 children going to school, I read that again, so contaminated there would be radiation control areas in nuclear plants, September 20th, 2011. Scum, buddy, scum. They knew that. They knew all of this. You know, they knew this for many years, this could happen. When it happened, they knew what was going to happen. They were looking, they were getting out of the way themselves. They were making plans to, to get all of them out of the way and leave everybody behind. That's not a government. That's not a government. That's mass murder. On a, on, that's like uh, Mao, you know. That's, that's a war crime is what they were planning. Radioactive cesium causing holes... In the hearts of children, March the 3rd, 2012. Radioactive cesium causing holes in the hearts of children. Unbelievable. How's it beat? Hi, Michael. Uh, Starfire Gold. Who owns the ocean? Yeah. 
I mean, should every country on the Pacific Rim sue TEPCO? Yeah. At least do that. Sue them for spoiling their fisheries, spoiling their communities, spoiling their, right? Break, break them that way. At least destroy them that way, if nothing else. That's just, you should be hung up in street poles as far as I'm concerned. Tokyo tap water in crisis comes from the area that is radioactive as Chernobyl's contaminated area, 100,000, 300,000 becquels per kilogram. Well, you use a lot of kilograms of water, get a shower, so, you know, Tokyo's, Tokyo's contaminated. I mean, I've done a video back then before with Fukushima about the numbers. Tokyo's contaminated, totally, utterly. And the government wants to get out of Dodge and not tell anybody, oh, well, where are we going to put them? You can put them up, you can start, you can put a bunch of them in that city you're going to build for yourselves. Scum buckets. I got it in bad for them now, for Tokyo, for Japan's government. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Creepy, disgusting monsters, boy. Cowards. Not going to tell anybody. Going to make all the decisions themselves to protect themselves and loot everything themselves and keep the money rolling in for themselves. Right? That's what they're up to. They're all greedy monsters. See, you can't help but get mad. I'm going to calm down here. Scientists measures 2,000 2, trillion becquels of cesium-137 in one study area. It's because you can't look for plutonium and uranium, see? But you can't have cesium without the uranium plutonium because uh, nuclear plants, you know, I don't know if this is a big shock to everybody, but nuclear plants don't use cesium and strontium. They use uranium and plutonium. So you can't have one without the other. Right? So every time they say cesium, they, uh, 137, they deserve a smack in the mouth. That's an outra outrageous lie. It's an outrageous lie. You'd have to eat a lot of bananas. What is it? Uh, somebody left a headline there last night. I forgot. Or this evening. Maybe I'll jump on it here in a second. Thanks, Michael. Yeah. Uh, the... Significant de density of alpha radiation leaking from Unit 3. This was August 14, 2013. The steam seen at the reactor building likely to be leaked from the containment vessel. So that was August 14, they were saying that. But a couple of days ago, they were talking about... Um, I forget. Steam from number 4 or number 3? I can't remember anymore. Let me keep going. Up to 900 trillion becquels of strontium-90 in the ocean from Fukushima plant. What about the plutonium? What about the uranium? What about, what about the uranium-235 and 234? It's a weaponized, excuse me, isotope. That was March 23, 2013. Up to 900 trillion becquels of strontium-90 into the ocean from Fukushima plant. Direct discharges of the cooling water. That's the water they're spraying over. So radioactive it becomes just by spraying it over. I got another headline here. Hang on. TEPCO made Fukushima plant into a machine for generating radioactive water. I'm going to read that again for you. Nuclear official, August 27, 2013. TEPCO made Fukushima plant a radioactive... Wait, no. TEPCO made Fukushima plant into a machine for generating radioactive water. Into a machine... And that's what I meant by that, right? It's perpetual. you got to pour the water over it, and the water got to get out of there because it's so hot, right? The, the site will heat up, and it can have a detonation. Or uh, if, this, if it goes dry, then the site turns into a big sinkhole, and then it consumes all the rods and all the cast, and it atomizes and aerosols and all of that because you're talking about 9,000 degrees down there. Never forget that. I know they try to hide it away all the time, what's really going on down there. They try to say, oh, it's sprayed all over the containment vessel, you know. Well, it's okay, folks. Go back to sleep and shut up. Don't listen to those kooky uh, people out there. Let me keep going. TEPCO uses radioactive water from reactors number 5 and 6 to spray throughout the Fukushima plant over 100 tons a day. Right? The water was like 40 billion becquels a uh, centimeter or cubic meter or liter, rather. And they're using that to spray all over Fukushima. The entire site is, is hell. It's hell on earth. The entire site, see? It's not only the rods that blew up and threw uh, amazingly 
catastrophic hot particles all over that site, all over the roofs of that site, and in every nook and cranny of that site. The big bundles, the 1,500 pound bundles, uh, 1,535 bundles, and just one pool. Right? You know, go look look at the pictures below and look at Unit 3 and see all the pools are missing on that too. But they, they threw those bundles as projectiles. They, they threw large particles a mile away and, and smaller particles up to two miles away. That's amazing. That's a huge detonation. That's a serious concussion. That's like a daisy cutter. You ever see the pictures of the daisy cutters, the 25,000 bombs they used to drop down in Vietnam and knock down the forest for helicopters? It's serious stuff, folks. So they used uh, 100 tons a day of the water from number 5 and 6 that was in down in that, that was uh, radioactive, and pumped it all over the site. And no choice. It's crazy, though. It's crazy, see? The U.S. government was privately terrified over the crisis. January 26, 2012, not even a year after, a U.S. diplomat had come out and said, it's not stable, Fukushima Daiichi is in really bad shape. Um, so he was saying the government, the American government, was privately terrified over that crisis. So the local, the government in America was shitting themselves all the time, and they weren't telling anybody. And GD, 5 billion Beckwells of better radiation and 10 liters of decontaminated, de or uh, damn contaminated waters, including strontium and cesium. That's where we started off? Yeah, there you go. Made it. We made it through the whole bloody thing. I never checked the time. I come say hi now, everybody, before we close her down. But that was the headlines I decided I had to get them out there because they would bug me all day tomorrow and I might not get them out there. And so I'll come over, open up the page again, see, say hi to everybody. And let me double check what I got done over here. Sometimes I'm faster, sometimes I'm not. But I think, uh, yeah, hour and ten minutes, well... Well, there you go. So, I'll just run down and say hi to everybody, and we'll give her up. I'm glad you sat it out, folks. Um, I think there's enough information there, you know, for any journalist. Like, if I was a journalist, if I was CNN, there's no way I would have read you all that, all those headlines, told you all them dates. If, if I was a pundit, there's no way, right? I'm allowed to mention any of those headlines, any of that. I'm not allowed to talk about that. I'm not allowed to talk about, you know, iodine-131 with a half-life of seven days. I'm not allowed to say that's code for uranium, plutonium, because that's what it is. Because nuclear plants are not iodine with a seven-day half-life to uranium and plutonium. And so every time you hear them talking about strontium-137 or 131 or any of these other insignificant things, what they're really saying is there's a lot of uranium plutonium. And it's a lot more than what they're saying of the cesium or the iodine. But that's just, that's the way that works, right? It's just like Japan doesn't want to evacuate Tokyo, which is the right thing to do. And that's, um, like in Russia, they evacuated 7,500 communities. Because back then they had integrity. Now people don't. Now the system doesn't. 50% meltdown at, at uh, Three Mile Island. They didn't tell people. They, they hid this away as long as they could, and look how, how much time has gone by, and look at the carnage left behind. And we're here to make sure that, like everybody else that has been at this for a long time, not only me certainly, but, to, you know, I'm here every night. I'm dedicated. And I'm sorry I didn't get at this right from the beginning, but I'll try to make up for it in my own little ways by being persistent and trying to inform people that what we say is true, the reality is always right here. We don't sugarcoat it, unless you consider last night, but there's still some harsh stuff there too. And uh, let's give Pinhead a little shot in the head before we call it a night. Uh, you got Tepco for all those headlines you got tonight. Yeah. 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 That's better. <laughs> we'll catch you folks tomorrow night. I'm going to come in and read the comments after.